This is a stock chart. On its own, it reflects all of the known information about a company. All of its earnings, misses and beats, the good news and the bad news, macroeconomic environment, every rumor, executive change, product launch, it's all here. Every bit of it is reflected in these bars that we call a stock chart. But just because the information is in the chart doesn't mean we can see it without a little bit of help. And that's where Pattern Finder comes in. Today, we'll do a demonstration and a systematic approach to making a decision of whether or not to create profit zones and loss zones and to make the trade and to not. The first thing we need to do is unlock the psychology in the stock chart. And that's where traders and investors have been buying and selling a stock often. And it's been used as a reversal, either a local top or a local bottom. And we'll do that by turning on the highs and lows. That in and of itself isn't particularly helpful. So let's turn to Pattern Finder's horizontal lines, its congestion lines. We turn them on and all of a sudden we can see where market psychology has been building, where there's been buying and selling at prices that have acted as pivot points, local highs or local lows. While horizontal lines are very helpful, stocks move in trends, either uptrends or downtrends, with higher highs and higher lows or vice versa. Next, we turn to Pattern Finder's ability to draw in those trends algorithmically based on these congestion points. We go to trend lines and now we have automatically drawn support and resistance. Finally, within this psychology, within this stock chart, there are patterns that other traders are looking for in which they will act in a certain way when they occur. We do that by turning on selecting patterns. Now that we have our long-term chart, and the stock passes the sniff test, we can draw in profit zones and loss zones. Always draw in loss zones first. It's good psychology. For this stock, the loss zone would be from the current price down to one of the congestion points. And the profit zone would be the distance from the current price to resistance. This is the start of a plan. Next, we go to the medium term chart. When we go to the three-year daily chart, we see a similar setup where there is room to resistance with a trending support, meaning there is a series of higher lows. But this time we see there's a cup with a handle. A cup with a handle is generally a bullish strategy once the handle is completed. And so we continue on our path. The 10-year long-term chart passed the sniff test. The three-year medium-term chart looks to have passed the sniff test as well, and this time we have a reinforcing cup with handle, which is generally a bullish strategy after the handle is completed. The stock bounced off of support, and this gives us confidence. We can also add a moving average. Let's do the 50 day. We can see the stock bounce right off the 50 day moving average, right on the point of congestion. Pattern Finder is finding the psychology in the charts that will help us form a trading plan. And finally, we've gone long term and medium term. Let us go to the short-term chart. Here again, we see the same conclusion. The stock bounced off of the short-term support right here. Trend support is built off of the bottom of the cup of handle. There is room to the upside and we have a clear loss zone where we would be stopped out. Let's go back to the long-term chart. Whether or not this is a trade that someone would engage in is personal. And whether or not long-term is 10 years and medium-term is three years and short-term is 18 months is also personal. For day traders, the long term is three months, the medium term is five days, and the short term is one day. The systematic process stays the same. Long term, medium term, short term to define whether or not the profit zones and loss zones look good. But this is not what we started with. What we started with was an empty chart. We said this is a stock chart and on its own, it reflects all of the known information about a company. And by the time we were done, we found all of that known information inside the stock chart by looking at market psychology and building a trading plan. The next question is, how do you find stocks that may have a bullish trend or stocks that may have a bearish trend? That comes down to the screener and to pattern breakouts. And that is for another video. But for five minutes, this demonstration of Pattern Finder has done itself well. The ability to automatically identify congestion points and draw on the horizontal lines. The ability to automatically and algorithmically identify trends in support and resistance. The ability to algorithmically and automatically identify patterns such as a cup with a handle. The ability to turn a stock chart, which we know represents all of the known information about a stock, into a trading plan. 
This is just the beginning of the power of Pattern Finder. Thanks for watching.